A good morning to all of you. Welcome to our today's morning lesson program. Today's Friday. And it's a day where in all our UCKG branches, we are taking care of those who suffer with spiritual problems. And when we talk about spiritual problems, we are talking about anxiety, depression, loneliness, uh, insomnia, nightmares, addictions, and uh, situations that you go through in your life and you can't just control them or you don't know what to do. It seems that you feel, not seems, you really feel powerless when they happen to you. So today is a day of for deliverance. It's a day where you will find the way out for all those spiritual problems. Because spiritual problems, you cannot find the solution in physical things. Uh, a painkiller will not remove the spirit of envy from your life, cannot remove the spirit of anxiety, cannot remove the spirit that is behind those arguments between you and your spouse. Because that's a spiritual problem must be solved with the spiritual tools or the tools of faith. And that's what it will happen today. I want to show to you this testimony, this person who had an experience with the deliverance prayer. The way they arrived to the house of God and how they were delivered from those spiritual or those situations that were caused, were being caused by evil spirits. Pay close attention, please, to this testimony. And if you want to talk to us at any moment, you can call or send a text message and talk to one of the pastors. The number, the helpline number, it's here available for you. I've been living a better life for the past 10 years because I decided to give my life to God and everything changed immediately. Today, my life is brilliant. My marriage is good, I have a good job, my kids, everything is truly amazing. And I really thank God for all that he's done for me. Before my life transformed, I had a lot of issues. I was sick. I suffered from terrible um, asthmatic conditions. I had spiritual attacks. Uh, my marriage was failing. A whole lot of troubles and problems. I couldn't sleep at night. I was always tired. It was like I was stuck. I wasn't moving forward at all. I found out about the Universal Church through my mom initially, because she'd always invited us. She was a very strong member, but we never listened. We didn't want to come. We didn't like it. We would say, it's not my thing, mom. We're not going. Until I started having those problems, then a friend of mine brought me to the church. And this time, I took it seriously. So when I first came, I met um, a lot of assistants who were very, very helpful to me. And they taught me how to use my faith. They encouraged me to do a chain of prayer for Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And even before the seven weeks was up, I'd received my blessing and my healing. To me, Universal Church means it's basically my world. It's inclusive. Everyone is welcome. That's what I've learned. No matter your race, your color, your struggles, if you're young, if you're old, if you're weak, if you're strong, you're welcome. That's what it means to me. As a universal person, I do a lot of evangelizing. Every day, even when I'm going to work, I see people on the road and I see that maybe they're suffering, they're not happy. I try and encourage them and tell them about the church and to tell them that there is another way. I'm always there, ready to help. I want to give what God gave to me. I want to give it to others. I want others to understand that there is another way. They don't have to struggle anymore. I was struggling and my life changed. So theirs can change too. I didn't evangelize before because I didn't know how to. 
I was suffering myself. I wasn't in a good place. I had nothing to pass on to others. You can't pass on what you don't have. Today, I see myself as an overcomer, as a fighter. I know what to do. If things go wrong, I know I have to go down on my knees and I know how to fight, read the Bible, do the purposes, um, campaigns, whatever I can do to overcome whatever my trials are. And what I have achieved through this faith is, number one, I received the Holy Spirit, which empowers me to overcome everything. Number two, my marriage, which was broken, we were at the end, we were gonna get divorced, has been restored. My children, they're doing well at school, they, they're grown up now, but they, they're successful, they've got their jobs. I have got a very good job. I'm a senior manager where I work, and so is my husband. So it's like we have achieved everything, but the greatest achievement is the Holy Spirit. I have no regrets becoming part of the Universal Church because my life has changed. I'm a new person, a new creature. I have this inner peace that keeps me happy. I've got joy, I've got happiness, I'm relaxed, no anxiety, and my family is happy as well. So definitely, I am universal. You see, when someone receives the spiritual help, so the spiritual problem and all that can, is uh, uh, being caused by that spiritual problem, that evil spirit, it's also removed from the life of the person. And why does that happen? Because is the word of God be being fulfilled in that life. There is here something powerful that I want to share with all of you, that there was a man, he was suffering a lot for several years, years with his son because he was being tormented by an evil spirit that uh, tried to uh, uh, kill him. The, 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 the father said to the, to the Lord Jesus that from his childhood the, the son was suffering and often he, the spirit, has thrown thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. So you see, it was a spirit of suicide. And then the man said, but if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. And of course, the Lord Jesus helped the man. It says that Jesus rebuked the evil from the, the boy, cast him out from him. He was delivered. And here comes something very important. The disciples tried before Jesus delivered the boy. They tried to cast out that spirit, but the spirit didn't came out and they were like confused. Why? Why? So they asked Jesus privately, why could we not cast it out? Like sometimes you, 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 you say, well, I believe in God. Why do I suffer with this? I pray to Jesus. Why do I still can sleep at night? Why do I still suffer these torments? I'm so attacked. My ways are closed. My, my life is not well. My finances are very bad. I can't, I don't have lucky in love. Why can't I be happy? Why am I always with this sadness inside of me? I'm always sad. I believe in Jesus. But why am I always sad with this emptiness? A few months ago, I spoke to a person in the street. We were uh, uh, giving leaflets uh, on the streets and a man received the leaflet and he started talking to me, asking me, what is this about? And I explained to him. And then he said, look, I have been a Christian for 40 years. And for 40 years, I suffer with depression. And he said, I don't understand why. How is this possible? 
And I explained to him, because there is an evil in his life. Being a Christian, just because I am a Christian, will not cast out evil from my life. And the Lord Jesus answer to the question of the disciples. They said, why could we not cast it out? And he said, this kind, this kind of evil can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. And that's what exactly we will do. The pastors of the UCKG Help Center will be doing today. We normally, we pray for the deliverance. Every Friday, you bring the rose, we anoint the rose with the oil that was blessed at the foot of the Mount Sinai, and then you take that rose with you, and wherever you go with it, will represent the mighty hand of God there, at your household, your, your, your relative's house, your workplace, your business. You take that rose with you, representing the mighty hand of God. But today, Friday, Today, every service, we had already the 7 a.m. service. The pastor who hold the service, he was fasting. The one that will make the, the 10 a.m. service, he will be fasting for you. The one who will hold the 3 p.m. service, he will be fasting for you. I will be 7.30 a.m. with all of you tonight, and I will be fasting for you as well. Because the Lord Jesus said, this kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. So we will do this and you will stop suffering. What is causing that suffering to you? What is causing the suffering in your life? You will stop suffering. Bishop, what do I need to do? You need to do the same thing that the father of that young boy did. You need to come and bring your problem. The problem of that man was the, what was happening to his child, his son. What is your problem? Come and bring your problem together with you. And we'll be here praying and fasting and you will stop suffering. I will give to you the addresses of our church, our branches in a few moments. Okay, in a few moments, don't go, stay there because I want to pray for you so you may receive strength to be with us today. And then I will give you the address for our, our church. Welcome to the UCKG Help Center where new life awaits you. Accepting and encouraging all to join and head towards a life of fulfillment and peace. Every day we hold four services focusing on different matters to attend to the needs of all the areas of your life. The times of our services are 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Friday, strong prayers are made against the negative forces that work around us. We determine our deliverance and spiritual protection. Our main headquarters is located at 153 Northumberland Street, Liverpool. Times and addresses do vary according to the location of the UCKG. If you would like more information, please contact us by calling 9602-9837. And you can also contact us on our website, www.uckg.org.au. You can also send us an email at help at uckg.org.au. You can like our page on Facebook and also on our YouTube channel, UCKG Australia, to keep you updated with the latest news. Don't be afraid of the storms that rock your life. God will protect you. Call on His name. He swore to bless you and take away your pain and give you joy. Don't be afraid. The pain that breaks your heart, no need to fear. Put your trust in God, He'll 
dry your tears No dream or problem is too big for him The sun may no longer shine The moon may give up its light But his promise will remain until the end My God is not The sun may no longer shine, the moon may give up its light, but His promise will remain until the end. My God is not a man, all that He says will stand, I will obey His voice. When we pray to God, we can receive strength, courage, faith, peace and anything we sincerely ask for. Take advantage of this moment, close your eyes, and raise your thoughts to God. It's time to pray. And our Lord and Father, I want to pray for those who are willing to change their situation. They are tired. I would say they are tired. Tired of suffering with insomnia, with anxiety, with loneliness, with depression, addictions. Tired of the situation. Tired of feeling that emptiness inside of them. They are tired. They've tried so many things, so many things. Nothing worked for them. Just like that, the man that it's here registered in your words. He, he, he tried many, many, many things. But only you, only you helped him. And we'll be doing the same thing that you did, Lord. We'll be praying for these people and fasting as well. So I pray for those who want to receive this deliverance, those who want to stop suffering. I pray for them so no matter who they are, wherever they are, they may receive now strength and courage if it's necessary to come today at one of the services so they may receive that help. In the name of the Lord Jesus, may they receive that now. Dear friends, touch now the screen of the, your, your, your mobile, your computer, your TV, whatever you are using to watch this program. Touch the screen now. Like if you were able to touch my hand, touch the screen now, touch the screen right now. And in the name of the Lord Jesus, receive now strength. Receive now the strength. All that weakness, doubts, negativity, heaviness is now removed from your body and receive the strength that comes from God in the name of the Lord Jesus, and if you believe, and if you want, you say, I receive because I need and I believe. Amen. Amen. Look, pay attention. Today is the day for you. So don't wait for tomorrow, don't wait for next week, is today. I'll be waiting for you here in our church in Liverpool, 153 North Humberland. Street, 153 Northumberland Street, in front the Liverpool Plaza, close to the Westfield Shopping Center. Of course, we have 
other locations. Blacktown, Chatswoods, Dandenong, Footscray, and Brisbane. If you want to know the address to one of these locations, you just need to go to our website, uckg.org.au, and there you will find the address. And if you need any kind of any information, you just need to use the helpline number, call us, or send us a message, or you can even use the online pasta. One or the other way to contact us. If you want to send an email, you also have there the email. Help at uckg.org.au. That's all for today. Of course, this is today Friday, but don't forget this Sunday. We'll be with all of you 7.30 and 9.30 a.m. as well in all our branches praying for the family. So bring um, your family clothes, okay? Because we'll be praying over those uh, clothes and bless them and ask God. So when your family member puts those, those, those clothes on, may the power of God take care of them and help them, protect them. The same thing to you. This Sunday, in all our branches, 7.30 and 9.30 a.m. as well. May God bless all of you and see you tomorrow.